This video is rated TV 16, has some harsh language which may not be appropriate for younger audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Alright guys, Heavy Metal Explosion coming at you with another My Two Cents. This is the R.I.D. Soundwave, which I have to admit, it's a pretty cool figure. What I dislike is that just recently I discovered that they're bringing them out in a box form with laser beak. The exact same mold is what it looks like. Um... Looking at here, um, you can see some of the paint apps. Um, clear wheels. So, underneath. And if you don't get it right, this bad boy won't roll. Yesterday I was trying to... Uh, film and I couldn't get the um, cod piece to get out the way finally I figured everything out I think still look like I'm a little gappy but hey at least he rolls um, you see his only accessory is this right here it does pivot and it does move up and down on a hinge what I dislike about it is that you don't get his gun you didn't get an accessory say like laser beak or ravage or you know something like that I mean just to expand the universe so I like the figure but yet, I don't like the figure. So, let's see if I can transform this bad boy. I've been practicing, but... Start with the arms. So this here, this little piece folds around. This piece, arm comes down. And let me readjust the camera. And you can take this piece here, fold it that way. And take the arms and rotate all the way up like so and this still is gonna be whoops y'all ah came down okay so we got that there then we can untab the legs Pull them out like such. Pull the feet out. Take these wheel hubs or fenders and hubs. Or I should say, separate the legs. Then take the wheels and now fold them in. Fold them in. There we go. Like so. Then we can take this and push that up into the cod piece. Or as some people would like to say, the crotch plate. Alright, 
bend this down and it should raise up as it raise up it'll fold out and you can raise the head up push that back like so bring the arms down or angle them up whichever way feels comfortable for you and then spin the legs around and put his and there you go now we have a nice sound wave and as we come down a little bit we can see this guy the light piping is awesome look at that and he's fully posable shoulders in that hinge on the body and in the ball joint on the arm ball joint at the elbow so you get all your movements there nothing on the wrist which they could have torso can swivel the head <laughs> It's on a ball joint, but it also has this non-locking piece right there that the head flips uh, flips up on. Um, ball joint, so I love that term. Who was it that coined that term? Um, Vangelis or somebody about doing the Van Dam. So we do get a the Van Dam splits thigh cut eh, not quite 90 and nothing in the feet other than a little barely a little up and down so but as you can see the colors come through from the truck mode to the uh, robot mode and I mean, even though we're coming out with uh, one that has um, a laser beak setup, I'm going to be honest, I like this guy. I really do. I may get another one and give this away to somebody. So, um, but this figure overall is a good figure. If you don't have a sound wave um, that's good enough for your generations line, then this would not be bad. It's got a Cybertronian style look to them. So, I mean, it could be something that he decided to go back to if you play continuity or something like that or you, or you write continuity. Or whatever so well that's my two cents worth this is a great figure enjoy and I'm out